Sure. Um, so it would definitely depend on the severity. Uh, we may need to start with passive movement of the extremities. Um, occupational therapy typically focuses on the upper body, working on getting the arm, finger, hands moving again and working functionally to be able to engage in things like feeding yourself. So um, might start with some passive exercise. If the person is able to assist us, then we could assist them with what they're not able to do, trying to get through that full range of motion. If we're able to, then we would start with strengthening. It might just be that they're um, moving their arms themselves through that full range of motion. And then when it's appropriate, we can add some weight um, to increase the strength. Um, we might need to use some facilitation or inhibition techniques depending on their muscle tone. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we'll be looking at their sensation and just the overall quality of movement and using different activities and techniques to um, try to help them regain that function. Mm -hmm. We might need to use some adaptive equipment. There's something called a universal cuff that is great for engaging in um, daily activities if the person does not have the ability to actually form a grip around something. So they could wear this cuff on their hand and insert a spoon or a fork into it. They could put their toothbrush into it so that they could still be able to do those things on their own if they aren't physically able to um, grasp that item. So it really just depends on um, what the challenges are. We might need to use weighted utensils if there's some ataxia and tremors. Um, we might need to use built up handles if they're having difficulty forming that grip. So it, it really just depends um, from case to case, but there are a lot of ways that we can intervene and um, get them back to doing those daily activities. Mm -hmm.